My father did cover for me quite often uh, in my childhood, so it would allow me more time to spend on the driveway or up at the high school shooting baskets, and uh, he used to do all kinds of things around the house to buy me some time. So we had uh, quite the agreement going on, and, um, and I think he recognized early on my passion for basketball, and he certainly, uh, as did my mother, support me in, in that endeavor. I, I come from a, a very special family because I come from a very close family and that's obviously a reflection of the way we were brought up by my parents and uh, uh, but my folks come to quite a few games my dad's retired now and um, and then my uh, sisters come to quite a few games as well and, and uh, uh, my nephews come when they can and uh, if my brother was closer he would be at a lot of games as well we're a very sports oriented family and so uh, they've, everybody's kind of grown up watching basketball games and being involved in sports in high school. Uh, so I feel very blessed to have the uh, family support that I have. And it's really neat uh, to share those joys and, and, and the lows of, of coaching and the competition. And to have that family support is very special. Amy was, uh, like uh, you said, she was she was very intense. She wanted to play. She always wanted to improve. And uh, I tried to tell her a lot of times that she wasn't big enough, wasn't fast enough, that there'd always be somebody to keep ahead of her about her, but she just she just continued to work hard and work hard and really, really achieved at, at every level she participated. She always wanted to play basketball, always. As I said, her dad did her, her chores, like empty the dishwasher and set the table so she could play a little longer, and uh, that's what she did. She was, she was basically a gym rat. She's just a dynamo, you know, she's intense and yet she's caring and thoughtful and bright and just an amazing coach. So we just couldn't be happier with the progress of the team. She was an amazing athlete herself and uh, it certainly shows her work ethic and uh, her tenacity and her perseverance and uh, the way she helps her team overcome adversity. She's lived all that as an athlete and so it's easier for her to live it out as a coach. She is a tremendous coach. She came in my freshman year after I committed and I just love her to death. Uh, don't let her hear that, but it's true. I mean, she I've always felt confident that she'll bring the best basketball player out, whoever comes to that college. And if you put in the time and effort and you're coachable, you'll become the best basketball player you can be under her. When I had my recurring visit, she was just so real and open about like what um, I would you know contribute to when I come as a freshman. And um, also just a small school, and the girls on the team are just amazing. And um, also academic, what brought me here too. I think Coach Stevens is a great motivator. She definitely uh, knows how to get the best out of everyone on her team. Uh, she's definitely um, showed me what it means to be a Division One athlete, which means you know working hard all the time, um, working at a level that um, you know is so much different than high school. And she's really um, the way that our practices are scheduled and, and um, all our workouts. She's really brought out that um, in me. I really liked Coach Stevens as a coach, and I was really very impressed in my recruiting visits. Um, she's very intense, very, um, in practices she's very, gets the job done, get, I know she'll get the most out of me, but um, she's also very caring, very loving at the court, she really loves us, and you can see that, but she's very, um, very intense, like I said, but she'll just get the most out of you.